While KKR not the only company going public today, three tech companies are hitting the market, including Smart Technologies, which raised $660 million, making it the second biggest public offering in the U.S. this year so far. Joining us now for a little bit more on the IPO market is Ed Butaski. He is a managing partner at Chapwood Capital Investment. Ed, we're so glad to have you with us. Thanks very much. What, what do you think this shows about the appetite for IPOs? It seems like technology, anyway, is getting the lion's share of attention. Yeah, and thank you for having me on. I, uh, to start off with, I'm surprised at one of the companies that's going public, and that's Real D. I'm surprised they're going public when they are uh, and in the financial condition that they are. And remember this, you have to look under the hood of an IPO as to what the incentive is. And in Real D, half of the shares are being sold by existing shareholders. That bothers me. They're selling about 10 million shares, and um, they're, they're losing money, and I'm a little uncomfortable with that offering. Uh, but at the same time, smart technologies, you know, good companies, Company sells you know the whiteboards into the educational and commercial space. I'm okay with that one. And then the one that I really like is Click. Uh, Click has an all-star cast of those who are in the selling group, uh, meaning Morgan Stanley, you have uh, Citibank, and you have Thomas Weisel along with some others. So there's a couple out there that I like. Real D scares me a little bit. They're losing money and it bothers me. And I think that's a fair point. I mean, you know, let the buyer beware. Why would uh, original right. investors really want to sell unless, quite frankly, they don't believe in the company and that they're hoping that somebody out there is less informed than they are. Doesn't seem like a great deal. KKR, our reporter Suzanne O'Halloran, just bringing us up to speed on how it's trading. I mean, this has been right. on hold for so long. What does it say about the exit possibilities for some of these PE firms? Well, I, I'll tell you, it hasn't looked good for quite some time. I think they have a lot of companies in their uh, in their universe, or the KKR has in their portfolio, that probably aren't ripe yet, and they haven't really seen their values. I think any company going public right now in that space should wait quite a while. And I think KKR, I'm very surprised they went public as well. I think that next year or the year after, a lot of their portfolio companies will be worth a lot more. Therefore, they would be worth a lot more. It, you got to look under it, the hood. It, it does seem a little bit odd because, in theory, they don't need cash, right? Which which is normally why right. a company would offer an IPO. That's, that's exactly right. You have to know why is a company going public. I mean, Real D is a great company, but they lost $16 million in the first quarter. Would you go pay $150 million for a business that lost $16 million in one quarter? Well, I wouldn't. Yeah, hopefully not, but they do have that 3D technology, which a lot of people are talking about being hot, which is, I imagine, why they're marketing it as such. That's right. All right, Ed, if I had to ask you how you think the IPO uh, companies bringing their IPOs to market this year is going to fare versus last year, can you make any kind of clear comparison? Easily. It's far and away going to be a better market for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is a lot of money after the liquidity crisis, and some of us still believe we're going through a little bit of the effects of that, but as, as the markets start to get better, money flowed into the bigger names. A lot of those companies are somewhat fairly valued right now. They're still cheap, but they're not as cheap as they were a year ago. So now money's going to start flowing into some of the more higher risk offerings like the IPOs, and in some cases, some secondary offerings. I think the market is much, much better than it was four or five Five months ago and a year ago. So yeah, I think we're going to see a lot more companies going public before uh, the end of the year. Signs of life. Ed Butowski, thanks very much. Ed Butowski joining us there. He is a managing partner at Chapwood Capital Investment.